Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and started up Turnabout Big Top and we've met our client here, Billy Bob Johns. I know he goes by stage name of Max, but I will refer to him as Billy Bob Johns throughout this entire case. Anyway, in this episode, we actually have a couple of places to go. There is the circus entrance, which we could check out, but also, I believe there's an achievement you can get- oh. December 28, Wright & Co. Law Offices. I believe in the HD remasters, re-releases, whatever you want to call them, th I think there's an achievement you can get here. Alright, we've got lots of things we have to look into. No time for slacking. Let's get going. Okay. Hmm? What's the matter? You seem down. Maximilian Galactica, who would have guessed he was a country bumpkin? That's still on your mind? Anyway, what do we do? Now, what do we do? Huh? There's still lots of things we can do. Go to the scene of the crime, talk to witnesses, gather evidence. Yeah, I guess you're right. We still don't even know what happened in the first place. Any ideas? We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Could have sworn I've heard that before. Well, we never have enough information. Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. Yeah, that was a running gag in the previous game, and it's not any different here. Here's my attorney's badge. Well, your badge is still shining. Barely. You may be showing a bit of wear, but I try to take good care of this thing. You sure do love to show that off, don't you, Nick? Who knows how many times you've shown it to me. She's right. I whip it out at the drop of a hat. So, I'm pretty sure it is canon that every time Phoenix meets a new person, he's like, Hey, look at my attorney's badge. Which I think is just funny. So I believe you get an achievement by presenting Max's profile. Obviously, I won't get it because this is the DS and, you know, they didn't do achievements back then. I don't even think Nintendo does achievements now. So, yeah. What's the matter? You've been acting strange for a while now. Max, he's just some country bumpkin. So? Why does that matter? He's still a famous, ma famous magician, right? I guess, but his real name is Billy Bob Johns. Yikes. Poor guy's got three first names. Guess that is pretty odd. Oh well, if a big star can do it, then you should be able to pretend to be exotic too, Nick. A big star? Max Galactica is a pretty big name. Anyways, what do you think about Naruhodo A. Raito? N n <coughs> um, what's the A stand for? The A stands for attorney. I'll think about it. Fun fact, uh, in the Japanese version, Phoenix Wright's name is Ryuichi Naruhodo. So that's a fun little reference to the Japanese version. Twelve twenty-eight. We're here again. Yep, but this time we are here for work. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. Of course, we've got to examine everything first, because that's just kind of routine. Nick, the entrance is right here! Maya, the circus is closed today. No clowns, no elephants, no shows. I know that! Nick, you could get your picture taken with Dolly, the elephant. There's no Dolly. Not today. I know that too! Oh well. I'll just have to take a picture with whoever I stumble across. Ugh, it's not like we're here on business or anything. Sometimes I'll miss Phoenix's sarcasm and then like halfway I'll have to switch over to... So if I ever read a line weirdly like that, that's why. It's a snack stand. They have hot dogs, hamburgers, and drinks. Not to mention candy and popcorn. They've even got snow cones. Who needs snow cones in the middle of winter? Nick, do you think we can buy some snow cones? Look around. There's tons of snow piled up all around here. Yay! Wait a second. There's no syrup, though. I want syrup! Hopefully she doesn't notice the discolored snow in the corner. It's not syrup. Look, look, it's Max! Even when you don't want to see him, poof, he's right there in front of you. Sure, the sign says Berry Big Circus, but looking around, might as well be Cirque de Galactica. The stars on his cheeks sure are dreamy. How about I draw a star on your cheek, Nick? 
I've got a marker. Nah, nah, it's all right. Uh, the less I'm like Max Gal or excuse me, the less I'm like Billy Bob Johns, the better. Hmm. This door must lead to the, to the lodging house. No entry to unauthorized personnel. Do you really need to say no entry if no one's actually entering? It's almost like a Zen riddle, isn't it, Nick? I'm not even going to justify that question with a response. I bet all of the stars stay at the lodging house. Oh boy, we've got a couple places to go. We have the lodging house plaza and the big top. Well, since the big top is what this entire case is named after, let's head on over there first. The circus stage sure doesn't look this small from out in the audience. Wow, this is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults. Not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? Grrr. Huh? Nick? It wasn't me. T-t-t-t-t-t-tiger! <laughs> He's c c coming this way. Ugh! Nick, you're too young to die. Stay, stay, heal. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm not dead yet. Nick! Nick! Are you okay? <laughs> oh god, what voice do I do for you? I've already used up all of my young female voices. Okay, I might go into Pearl Territories here, but that's just because I'm not talented as a voice actor, so ignore that, please. I don't even think Pearl is in the rest of this case, so we'll, we could just pretend this is this new character's voice. <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? Regent is such a cute tiger, isn't he? What's the matter? You two sure are quiet. Don't what's the matter me? N Nick, he almost died there. Huh, <laughs> he wasn't even anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. That little tiger hardly ever bites people. And besides, people normally never get to play with a ti wild tiger, right? So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Huh? You agree, don't you? I guess. What, what, what do you mean, you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Woohoo! Your costume! Eh? It's cute! I want to try it on! C costume you mean my clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? I... Uh, I guess not. Really? <laughs> You're the best! Wow, the tables turned quickly on that one. So much for the tiger thing. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Barry, the renowned... Maybe I could add a southern twang to her. I'm Regina Barry, the renowned animal tamer of the Barry Big Circus. The name is Maya Fay. I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. You put us up next to an animal tamer. Bet we really look odd. Nice to meet you. Uh, likewise. Alright, before we get to talking to you, there's one thing that every Ace Attorney fan has had their eye on for a bit now. Ah, a ladder. It's just a step ladder. What's the difference? They do the same thing, right? I think you should stick with the basic facts of the matter. Oh. Uh. Okay. It's not even worth arguing with her on this one. So, the step ladder. That's a running gag throughout the entire Ace Attorney series. I'm pretty sure in every Ace Attorney game. There's at least one point where two characters argue about whether or not it's a it's a ladder or a step ladder. Uh, this is like a step ladder, I'm pretty sure. 
Because, yeah, step ladder is two... It's like two uh, step ladders, like, brought together with a thing at the top. So, yeah, Phoenix is right in that argument. Uh, let's look at the lion. Look! That's where Max comes out during the show! I've got to admit, that was a pretty cool effect. We're planning for me to start coming out of the lion during the show! That's great, Regina. Yeah, I will ride on Regent's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. I want to try it too. I'll ride on Nick's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. Sometimes I wonder about this girl. Whoa, those lights are huge. I love lights. Whenever I appear under the spotlight, everyone claps for me. That's because everyone knows you're cute. No, I'm not cute. You're cute. Me? Of course. I'm sure you'd make an incredible heroine. Really? You think so? Nick, do you hear that? Me, a heroine. What about Nick, Regina? Hmm. Nick. He's no hero, is he? Ouch. Thanks a lot, Maya. Yeah, Nick definitely wouldn't be like a protagonist or anything like that in like a story. Hey, it's a rope! Actually, it's a... Uh... Crap, what's another term for rope? Probably for tightrope walking. Ah, oh, I should have done that! Hey, it's a rope! Actually, it's a tightrope. So, keeping the running gag going. That's a bit strange. There weren't any tightrope walkers in the show when we saw it. So yeah, what the hell is that rope for? I hope that wasn't for anything bad. Uh, hey, look, it's you. Alright, I look so cute in this picture. Don't you think I look cute? Don't you? Don't you? You sure do. No objections here. What about this? What can you tell me? Um, I'm not really good at figuring out hard things. Really? You too? I understand exactly what you mean. I never expected Maya to make a new friend in a strange place like this. Uh, what do you have to say? What happened? Just look, going over the basic facts of the case for now. I mean, we're just getting introduced to everyone. Hey, Regina, what do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered! Can't imagine how hard that must be for you. Ugh, that was insensitive. That's right, the ringmaster was your... Yep, the ringmaster was my dad. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. Why do you say you're sorry? Eh? Anyway, everyone was here practicing last night. Even your dad? Yes, everyone was here. We finished up around 10 p.m. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. Regent. So she was with that beast. That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, Dad was dead. For someone whose father was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. I wish she would just tell us more about her dad. That's incredible that you were an animal tamer. If you say so. It has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regent isn't scary. He's cute. Ever since Leon died, Regent has been my best friend. Leon? Yes, Leon the Lion. Leon the Lion. Regent and Regina. Interesting name choices. This is one of those few instances where the game actually points out what the pun is. Leon. He died? Yes. Actually, he was killed. My dad killed him. That's why I don't care that my dad is dead. Why did he do that? I'm not sure why he, di he did it. It's not tough to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. Eh, she's kind of weird looking. Christ, that was kind of rude to say, but she's just, 
I don't know if cute is the right way to describe her. She kind of just looks like one of those moe anime characters. But I don't know. I had canon that she just mind controls everyone into believing she's the most adorable person on the planet. You think those are actually sparkles, but those are just her magical mind controlling abilities. It's Max! Hi, where's Max now anyway? Y you don't know? Nope! He's been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. It's okay, Nick and I will help him. Max isn't th the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal? Of course he's not. I'm worried about so many things right now. Hmm, like what? <laughs> What's on your mind? Regina, what's the matter? What's on your mind? <laughs> I'll tell you, Maya, but just you. Ugh. Um, well... <laughs> what? Really? And then... <laughs> oh my, that's incredible, Regina. Come on, Nick, there's no reason to pout. Don't worry about me. Regina told me that someone professed their love to her. P -p 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 professed their love? Not only that, it was Maximilian Galactica. Uh. 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 I wonder how many people have stolen one of his hearts anyways. And then, on the exact same day, another person professed their love for her as well. What? Who was it? Someone named Trillo. Trillo. Apparently he's a tenor who sings in the circus. Hmm. I haven't met him yet. Regina seems to be quite the hit with the men in the circus. She must have some sort of strange power over them. I'm telling you, it's mind control! You're not kidding. Two people in one day. Even I want to profess my love for her. Me too. She's so cute. Uh. 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 <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and present Russell Berry, age 52. After practice was over, Dad went back to his room. His room? Yes. That door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Hmm. I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. The ringmaster's room. It's probably a good idea to check it out for myself. Well, let's get away from here as quick as possible. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave this off till the next episode. We've gone around to the circus a bit, or we've gone to one room, actually. And we've also learned a bit about Regina, Regina for better or for, or for worse, because, you know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and hopefully have something better happen. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Goodbye!